Hello, my name is Visor. Today we're going to be doing a test run of Intake. This is a small indie game by Cypher Prime Studios, and it's very drug inspired, I guess. Like the currency in this game is milligrams, which you can use in the shop to buy upgrades and stuff. But before we cover that, let's actually see the game. And eventually we'll go through the settings and all the other stuff later on. Anyway, to start the game, you pretty much click anywhere on the screen that isn't the setting button and doesn't close the damn game. So let's get started. So this is the only tutorial of the game that I've ever seen, and it's okay. Basically, it tells you your cursor is a certain color, and you have to click on the same color pills. And you can switch color by pressing spacebar. And that's about it. But other than that, it doesn't actually explain that many mechanics yet. So what is intake at its core? Basically, you're shooting pills with some dubstep in the background. I think this is dubstep anyway, I don't fucking know. Maybe I'm showing my ignorance of music, but to me, dubstep is just techno with a lot more bass. Whatever. So basically for each level, you have a set number of pills you have to click. That number is in the top right corner. And if you click on these pills, you decrease the number and you get to go to the next level. Pretty straightforward. In the top left corner, you see this combo bar. As that fills up, you get a new bonus. Currently, it fills up after 15 combo hits, not pills. Combo hits are a little different. It's when you properly click on a pill at the right color over and over. If you click close to the pill, you can actually break your combo, as well as clicking on a pill of the wrong color. And these bonus abilities are sort of where the store steps in. Like the first time I played this, I didn't even have a combo bar, because I had no bonus abilities. As you get more milligrams of pills, you get to buy more abilities. As well as various of other upgrades that aren't exactly gameplay related. So how do you get this currency? Well, basically, at the end of every level, there's this bonus screen with these little white pills. And as you click on them, you get a few milligrams. But additionally, if you ever lose, you have a bonus level where you have to click on a bunch of them. And their values change depending on how long you play the game. Now, currently, you're just looking at level 8. Obviously, as we go on in higher levels, more things will change. So, in fact, let's uh, speed it up a little bit. By the way, this is all post-com. The second we started playing, I stopped doing live commentary. This game is just sort of a little too intense for me to not pay attention to. Otherwise, if I try to do live comm, I'd just probably lose at level 8 over and over. But I guess I probably should talk about how you can actually lose the game. Now, clicking on the wrong pill color will not make you lose the game. All that does is break your combo, and still destroy the pill, and still goes toward your pill counter. Now, the way you lose a life is if a pill falls through the bottom of the screen. There are a couple rules for that, we can get into that later. But if you look at the very top under the score, there's two dots. Currently, I have two lives, so basically I can screw up twice. Lives, of course, can also be upgraded in the shop. And it seems like every 10 level, you get a chance to pick up a new life, which is nice. Overall, there are 100 levels, and every 25 levels that you beat, you can sort of start there from now on. If I beat level 25, in the future, I can start at level 25. If I choose to. But remember, I said the bonus milligrams you get are based on how long you've been playing, not the level. So going from level 1 to 25 can actually get you a lot of bonuses. Going from level 25 to, say, 35, not as much, even though it'll be a lot harder. Is that fair? Is that good game design? I don't know, but that's why I always start at level 1. Because honestly, I have actually never gotten past level 40. Now, this might be due to my player skill, but I also think this game is sort of designed around the idea that you will buy these upgrades and they will make everything easier. I'm not sure if you can go through level 1 to 100 with no upgrades. I have a feeling it's kind of impossible. Now, coming up is one of the faults I have with this game. You see that gray pill? The second I click it, the screen flashes and I can't really see where my pills are anymore. And apparently that's a thing we are not supposed to click on. But really, the only way I can learn that is through trial and error. Otherwise, I just thought, oh, that pill falls through the bottom, I'll lose. Turns out, though, that pill can't fall through the bottom, due to another game mechanic that I haven't discussed yet. But anyway, this thing you're seeing right now, this is the bonus stage. This is where you earn most of your milligrams. Now that you've seen the game a little, we can probably go through settings and the store then. So, under settings, you can do the following. Change your sensitivity, your volume controls, show the tutorial. But you've seen the tutorial, I don't think it's a very good one. It doesn't tell you much other than match the colors. There's a lot of other mechanics that's sort of skipping. V-Sync, pretty straightforward. 
And as you can see here, you can switch your music, and as you can see, there's only three songs. And you need to unlock them. It's kind of a weird system. It does have a colorblind setting, which is nice, though I don't have any of these, so I don't know whether they work. I just leave it on default. The scoreboard is pretty straightforward. People can submit their scores and you can compare. Score chasing isn't really my thing though. Progress on the other hand allows you to pick your starting level. Like as you can see right now, I can start on level 25, but I prefer to start on level one because like I said, you get most of your milligrams from that bonus stage and the value of each pill depends on how many levels you've been playing, not the level that you lost at. So I prefer to start at level one. And of course, achievements are just achievements. Pretty straightforward. I don't really care too much about it. Drugstore, and this is where you buy your power-ups. When you start the game, you have no power-ups at all. You basically have one life. So that combo bar that charges up doesn't do anything for you. It's not even there. Additionally, for a lot of these abilities, you can upgrade them farther, and they'll be more effective. Now, initially, you'll get a power-up every 15 combo hits, though you can not upgrade this so it happens more often. Now, in terms of power-ups, the first one we have is Embiggen. It just makes all the pills bigger, which is all right, I guess. Next, we have Invincibility, which allows you to click on any other pill and no pill can hurt you. Also, you won't lose your combo. Plus, I think this applies to those gray pills that I tried to click earlier that sort of screwed me over. Next ability is Slow-Mo, which is slow-mo, fairly straightforward. Lightning, Chain Lightning, destroys a bunch of pills. It's very nice. Next, we have Monochrome, which is a weird laser. Basically, depending on the color of your cursor, when you click on it, a laser of that color will happen and destroy all pills of that color. So it can be useful. Other stuff includes this color palette upgrade, which I've done. So you're gonna see more color combinations now. And this is also how you upgrade your music. Now there is one last upgrade that I haven't gotten. It's called Gunship. I think it makes this game into a shoot 'em up but I'm not sure. There's no way in hell I'm gonna unlock it. It costs a million milligrams. And I just don't have time to farm all that for a first impression. I did try to cheat it because I figure this is a press bill. Maybe I can find my save file somewhere, but I couldn't find it. So I guess if you want to see what this upgrade does, you're going to have to do it yourself or find somebody else who's already done it. Either way, that's it for the store. So let's get back into the game. So there's one more mechanic that I sort of took me a while to understand. So initially when I looked at this game, I thought it made no sense to have one button to fire and one button to switch. Why not just have one button fire one color and the other button fire the other? That seems like it would make sense. However, it looks like there's another mechanic for getting rid of pills. Basically, you see the bottom bar with the stripe bit? We'll call that the danger zone. Right above it is sort of a shield, and it matches the color of your cursor. When a red pill hits the red shield, it can't get through. Same deal with all the other colors. So one strategy you could do is, let's say have your cursor be red, get rid of all the red pills and switch over to blue. Then none of the blue pills can get through your shield. Plus, it won't break your combo or really negatively affect you in any way, other than those pills not counting toward your total. But really, trying to play this game and figure out all these mechanics is, to me, less than ideal. There's really no reason there isn't a tutorial for this stuff. It's not like this is an exploration game where the act of discovery is the important thing. Plus, trying to understand this game while playing the game is kind of a pain in the ass. This is very much a game that you sort of want to chill to and just get in the zone and just click your pills. It took me a while to figure out all these mechanics and before then it just felt like I was getting screwed over for no reason. Not really something I feel necessary for this game. Which is why I feel kind of disappointed by the tutorial. It feels like this issue could have been totally resolved just by having a better tutorial. However, at the end of the day, I'm not saying this is a bad game. I think it's incredibly well polished and has some really interesting ideas. It just doesn't explain them very well. Once you know them, I think it's a pretty enjoyable score attack game. Not my type of game, but it's not a bad game. Now, if this game is your jam, you can find it on the Humble Weekly Sale. In fact, it's the only place you can get it. You can't even get it on Steam. As of this recording, you have about less than four days to get it. In terms of pricing, as long as you spend more than $6, you'll get intake, as well as a bunch of other Cypher Prime games. Now, some of their other games like Splice, Fractal, and Auditorium are available on Steam, but intake is only available through the Humble Weekly Sale for Windows and Mac right now. Maybe eventually get on Steam after it gets greenlit or whatever. But, and that's it for me, Visor, taking a quick look at Intake. So thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time.